Hello, this is your daily devotion for Monday, September 28th. Our reading this morning comes to us from Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter, beginning with the 7th verse. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with this people into the land that the Lord swore to their forefathers to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So this passage comes to us from the end of Moses' life. And as we um, probably know, while Moses was given the privilege of leading the people to the promised land, he was not given the privilege of crossing into it himself. He saw it, but he never entered it. At this point, Moses was a very old man, and he was no longer physically capable of leading Israel. So it was time for him to pass the torch, and it was appointed that he would pass that torch to Joshua, who would then become the leader of Israel. He made sure to do so publicly, to pass everything on that God had given him, so that there would be no confusion that Joshua was meant to be in charge. Otherwise, had Moses died without making a clear succession plan, there would have been chaos right at a very critical moment as the Israelites were about to achieve their long sought after goal of reaching the land that had been promised to Abraham and his descendants forever. All of us in life are going to leave some unfinished business. There will be things we intended to do that we never quite get done. There will be things that we probably should have done that will go unfinished. There will be many things we wanted to do that we never quite crossed off and we need to understand that that's okay. No one truly accomplishes everything they dream of in life. The key is to learn how to want the right things so that what you do devote your time and energy to winds up being something that's very satisfying for you, good for other people, and helps to build up uh, you, your family, your community, and the kingdom of God. But it's okay to not finish every single thing that you you intend to set out to do, because, like I said, we all leave a little bit of unfinished business. Let us pray. We thank you, God, for the witness of your servant Moses, who was faithful to you even when no one else around him was, and who also wisely passed off leadership of Israel to Joshua when he himself was too old to lead the nation anymore. We are grateful that he did not allow his own bitterness about not being able to enter the promised land to cause him to deviate from your plan. Help us to deal with the things that we may not finish, that we really want to, even important things that will benefit your kingdom, but to understand that we all have limits and that we need to work with other people so that our dreams, our goals, and our plans don't end with us, but rather become contagious, and pass on to other people. We pray for all the victims of COVID-19 and their families, for all our healthcare workers and first responders, for our teachers and students, and for everyone everywhere, for strength to endure a pandemic that still has no clear end date. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon.